the other. In the Knesset, they insult each other. They curse at each other. So why are they together? They know that this next election, we will be, as Rav Hashem, the third party in the Knesset. And that to them is a horror. When we are the third party in the Knesset, the Likud will need us. They will need us. There's no way that they can form a government without us. And we have Tnaim. Tnaim Bal Yavo. It conditions irrevocable, immutable, no compromise. The first one is going to be the first one. Miu Yudi. If within 30 days of the new government, there is not a clear, concise, precise Miu based on the halakha and not the way they want to change it. It's, it's very clear. <laughs> halakha as interpreted by Rabbanim who believe in Torah mi Sinai. Then it's not government. That's it. You want a government? Not a shot. We are going to, to do something that nobody ever, ever did. When we are not going to ask for cabinet seats. <laughs> but we're going to give them naim conditions. The UD. Two, the Jewish underground. Everyone goes free on the first day of the government. The first day. I sit quietly and watch as Jews, Yudim, heroes, heroes, Maccabin, sit in prison because they, because they, uh, they blew up Basim, 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 uh, Basim Shaka's legs. When I was in Romney prison when that happened, and I heard the news and I said, this Nazi, this vicious Jew, Jew hater. Ah, ah. They will go free. They will we free a thousand <coughs> terrorists and these boys sitting in prison? Jeloye never. Shamir sits and talks about Jewish terrorists? What do you think he was? But what when he was head of the uh, of the uh, of the Lechi, the sternest, do you think that he he threw flowers at the at the uh, British? Suddenly he becomes a you know, gentleman, a gentleman, you know, gentleman. We are going to demand conditions that the Bituch Lumi, the national insurance, be transferred from the government to the Jewish agency. And then, no checks to Arabs, only, only to Jews. If they want babies, let them pay for it. Every Arab at the age of 18 now, nothing, no army, no, nothing, no, no service. He gets married, he works, has, has, you know, three children. By the time the Jew gets out of the army, every Arab at the age of 18 is going to go work a national service, working uh, park on the uh, Kvishim. He's work on the roads at hard labor for three years because he is a royal citizen. We're going to make life so miserable for him that, he, that he's going to say, if this is how it is when Kana is, is only part of the government, what will be when he is the government? Well, so, I came here because I want you to help me be the Prime Minister. I want you to have a Jewish state, not the state, a Hebrew-speaking Times Square. A Jewish state, a religious state, a state of halakha. And the greatness of Kach is, and this is the greatness of it, a religious party that is supported 80% by Jews that do not observe. We have the hope of bringing Jews together. There are people in our party that hate the Dusi, but they love me. Oh, they love me. They love me. They love me. They hate, they hate, they hate the Orthodox Jews, but they love me. We will bring Jews together also. And that's the tremendous thing. I may not bring together Yossi, Yossi Sari, no, may. I was talking about Jews, anyway. <laughs> Not the air of love. The air of love that has, that, that has somehow funneled into us and so on. In the Gra, the Gomi uh, Vilna says that in the end of the days, the major battle will not be against Yishmael and Esau, but against the air of love. And that's what we have today. In any case, I need help from you. I need money. I need money. Give money to 
הישיבה בשעות דבר בני חס ושלום דיונה בי בישיבות. talking about survival, Jewish survival, and that has the shalom, the idbachal yahud that we saw in the 1920s and 1930s. That was the slogan, idbach al yahud, slaughter the Jew. And that's what they still say. <clears throat> and they're waiting for that moment when, oh, 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 well, that will never be. That will never be. You have the power. I ask you to give me the power. Save the Jews physically, save the Jews in Uchmiyut, in spirit. I need money, you, you can give money tax deductible, the American way. Checks made out to the Jewish overview, over, O V E R V V I E W, overview, tax deductible. How much better can it, can, can, and we have it, and having Ronald, Ronald Reagan pay for Mayor Khan to become the Prime Minister. <laughs> so, I'm asking you to help me. You can vote in Israel. You can help me get a lot of votes. A lot of votes. I want to thank you all for coming, especially the Rabbanim. I understand that this was a very, very special time. I, I don't know how many times all of these Rabbanim, the important ones, have sat together at one time in, in the same room. Same. I want to thank you all for coming, and I, and I want to thank you all for helping me. Because when you help me, you're not helping me. You're helping Klau Israel, people of Israel and Medina Israel. Thank you. as you said, of those rabbis who wants to prescribe their name, I'm quite sure that the paper reaches every single body in our community. There's no reason why you should have something. Now, in addition to that, in addition to that, if, because a lot of people read our paper, I'm not speaking for to sell the paper. The, if the rabbis will send 
that you will receive at home. Well, I'm talking about an insert, an envelope, and an insert. That's very good idea. In addition, the rabbis will speak when you receive this insert, please try to answer without looking for politics, and then shall we answer some violence. Okay. Exactly. I suggest also that those of you who are here, you came because you were interested, most of you came because you agree. You have friends, you have family who are not here, you have business associates, you have employees, you have partners. Talk to them. People who are not directly in the Sephardic community also want to hear this message. You don't have to hear it and help. Don't make it exclusive. Broaden it because what Rabbi Gahana speaks for is Klan Yisrael, not just one community of Israel. So it's important that we talk to our friends and recruit them and enlist them in this campaign. Okay, um, Want to ask a question, Rabbi? Rabbi, I have some questions. Okay. Okay. Question and answer. Okay. Yes. Are there questions? If you want to ask any questions, every round here. Round. You referred repeatedly during your remarks to the question of me, Yehudi, without bothering to explain them. Apparently, you assume that your position is well known and everybody is familiar with it. That is not the case. May I inquire briefly, I mean without the McGill, but briefly, as quickly as you can, what is the essence of your position on the question Mi Yehudi? How does it differ from the government's position on Mi Yehudi? No, and it's not government position. And, and, specifically, and specifically, what would you do to decide the case of a Catholic priest who is by self-confession a, um, a missionary, okay. but both of whose parents are Jewish. Yeah. Okay. That's here. Okay. First of all, that's that. You know, last question is different. But in any case, I'll i I made it quite clear in my speech, as clear as I could possibly be. I, I even stated what the Nusa <coughs> my bill is. <laughs> as determined by rabbis who believe in Torah and Sinai. <coughs> how, can, how can I make that clear? That is the position of all the Orthodox rabbis. It is not the position of the government because the uh, government has no position. The Likud gave its people a free vote. In other words, whoever wants to vote can vote by his, his conscience. And labor gave party discipline to vote against this change. So the government has no position. As of now, the, bill, the, the law reads that a convert of any kind, form, conserve, any, anything, there are no ground rules for converts. We, we want to change it to make it very, very clear what it says there, that is the position, that is the way one converts. That's, that's clear. There is no fresh question upon that. <coughs> the question of a Catholic priest who's, who's, uh, whose parents are Jewish and so on. That's how the question was originally raised. That would be with, right, right, father, with Father Daniel. That's right. Really right. Now, according to the Avakha, He's real, he is he's a Jew. One who is born Jewish cannot be not a Jew. If you're a Jew, you're a Jew. Ah, uh, you say, but he's a Catholic priest, you're right? So he's he's a Jew. Uh, 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 that is no question. He's a Jew. What about he's a, he's a Jew. He is a Jew. The question of his missionary work. That's a separate matter. We have we have tabled in the Knesset an anti-missionary bill which will make missionaries illegal in Israel. That's a separate matter. 
Under under Arab bill, there will not be missionaries. One Catholic, I'm going down. They will not be allowed mission. It will be a five-year prison sentence for mission. That's a clear, clear rule. It has nothing to do with how he was born or wasn't born. That's a separate match. That's a question of what does the halakha say about the Jew who was born Jewish and now became a pagan, a Catholic. That's halakha is that he is a Jew. He's a Jew. There is a halakhah, that he comes back to being, to being a practicing Jew, he has to get, he has to get stripes and he's whipped. That's a, a separate matter. But he's a Jew. The missionary problem is a separate matter. We have a law in the of a, a bill which has been tabled to ban missionaries. There will be no missionaries in Israel. If they want to find converts, go to China, but not in Israel. That's the way it is. It's a clear rule. No functioning uh, the way uh, the Mormon, the Mormon, uh, the Mormon center. We want Mormons there, period. We need a, a center. We want Mormons there, period. Every Mormon is a missionary. The Mormon who isn't a missionary is like in what a Jew that doesn't that you know doesn't keep Shabbat. Uh, nonsense. Uh, no such thing. Yes. 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 We may have the same thing in Israel between the Jews themselves. Yeah. Because they are the ones that fought God God Israel and they expect to live their freedom from sin. But the others are not we shall not have because it's right before it's born already. You're right. I I am a scheme with, with you and I see it every every single day inside the Knesset. You're right. I, you're right. It's Khaval Khaval not called to him. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. We'd like to have some more.